Dockle with our URG warranty claim program. Um, he's going to give a little bit more insight on what the program is about and what we have to offer. So Shane, if you want to jump in, I'll pass it off to you. Okay, thanks everybody for attending today. Uh, we'll go through a, a brief description of what, what we got going on in the warranty program. Um, apologize there. First thing, uh, the reason that we developed the warranty program is so that we can handle the claims for you for you all so you can focus on your business. Um, this keeps the this keeps the salesman on the phone making sales calls, keeps the sales manager from having to deal with it. Um, keeps you building your business while we're taking care of the backside for you. Um, in our program, we got three experienced techs. We're all certified, one Spanish speaking techs. Um, we handle all powertrain, engines, transmissions, transfer cases, axles, and carrier assemblies. Um, the warranty software is built into your current systems. So when we do open a claim on it, we can pull up all your invoice details so we know what's going on. Um, keeps it in one little neat package for you. All the notes, documents, photos, videos, whatever we gather from the customer, whatever you put in the claim is all kept into uh, one little package. Uh, included in the program, what we've put together is uh, uh, basically a warranty flyer. It's got uh, some installation instructions and also a checklist of things that we felt were important for your uh, customer to do when he's installing the product. Um, that way nothing gets overlooked. Um, you might have noticed a new menu option on uh, urgsalesupport.com. It's on the uh, left-hand side of the screen. It's called Warranty Claims. If you click on the Warranty Claims button, what it'll do is it'll bring up this screen right here. If you go off to the right-hand side and you click the Create a New Claim button, you've got two ways to actually search for what you're looking for. You can either enter your invoice number and click Search and it'll bring it up, or you can enter your invoice date and your part type, which this is a pull-down menu. You'll select your part type there and you'll hit Search. Now, if you, if you do it by invoice number, you'll get this screen right here. It'll bring it up, gives you all the information, who it was sold to, your invoice number, date, uh, description, uh, what type of vehicle, your interchange number. If you go off to the right-hand side of the screen, you can click Create a Claim. Um, it's similar when you do a search um, by date. The next screen will show you if you do a search by date and part number, it'll bring up everything that you've sold uh, from that date five days back. And again, if you want to sort this, anything across the top, you've got, you can sort it if you want to sort it by interchange number, sold to whoever, so you can more easily find the information you're looking for. You can sort it each direction. And then the same thing over here, you got to create a claim button. And you want to create a claim, you'd click the green uh, create a claim button. Now, if something's been credited, there's been credited issued against it, you're gonna have a yellow button on the side. If you click the yellow button to create the claim, it's gonna ask you if you're sure because there's been a credit written uh, against this product already. Uh, if we click the green button, select this one, we have uh, created a claim, you get to the next screen. Now, if you're, if you're sold to and shipped to address are two different addresses, you can select from either one and choose which one you wanna use. If you're sold to and your ship to address is the same, it'll bring you to the next screen, which is the main claim screen, and this information will already be put in there. Okay, from the main claim screen, um, what we've got is we've got some different colored boxes in here, and each thing represents different things. We'll kind of go through the boxes to let you know what's in, uh, which, what's in every deal. The first, first one we're going to discuss is the claim details. Um, there's a lot of options that you can that you can do inside the claim details. Everything that's in here um, has got, anything that's got an arrow next to it is actually a pull down menu. You can pull down and select anything that has an asterisk next to it is actually a field that has to, has to be filled in, otherwise it'll give you an error. Um, your last action, as you can see off to the side, we've got selections of what happened on the last action. Uh, your claim status, this follows it through from the beginning to the end. It'll start out, everything will be an open claim. Um, as we go through it, if we, if we decide it needs to be replaced, we'll select replace part. Once the part's replaced, we'll select 
part replaced. And then if it's, there's a labor payment against it, we can send it back to the yard for payment requested. Now also you see the pull down menu in the center here where Chrissy's name is. There'll be a listing of the URG users and also a listing of your yard uh, employees that are handling the claim. On the previous screen right here, it's, it has a salesman listed off to the side in the red box. So once the claim's in the system, we'll know who to communicate with. If we are gonna replace the part, what we would do, we'd click the claim status, replace part, go to the pull down menu, we'd select the, the, we'd select the salesman's name, click the box right here and then save the claim at the end and that in turn would send information to the salesman that hey, we're gonna go ahead and replace this part. The, the system set up so as long as somebody's logged into the system, um, we can communicate through the claim uh, the whole time and all the, all the communication in the claim will be, we'll go into the notes section here in a little bit, all the communication in the claim will be stored in the claim. So if you wanna go back and review what happened, you can go to the notes section and you can see that. And we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, the next screen is your warranty screen. Um, this is the product that you actually sold. Um, your warranty will be displayed up in the corner type of vehicle, uh, the bin from the donor vehicle and the mileage, then of course your invoice date, what it's sold for. If you put any invoice notes, your invoice notes would be displayed in this section of it and we can read, you know, if there's some special instructions or something, we, we can see that um, when, we, when, we, when we open the form. Um, if you go up here to this box in the corner, the one that looks like a book, and you click that box, what you'll come up to is this screen right here. Now, what we would do is gather information from you, what's covered underneath your warranty, your labor rates, all that information. We put it in this box. So when we're dealing with your specific yard, we'll know what the coverage is on it, um, what you pay per hour and all that other stuff and what's covered on it. Also, I can't scroll down right here, but if we scroll down to the bottom, we put a copy of, uh, we put a copy of your invoice front and back in there. And the reason that we put that in there is sometimes the customer doesn't read over their invoice real well. And it's easy for us to go in and look at the PDF of your invoice. And if they ask us a question, you could say, okay, paragraph two, line five, check this out right here. Here's the information you're actually looking for. And also um, we can show them where their, where their warranty coverage is actually listed on, uh, listed on their invoice. The next box that we got is a, uh, is a box that's specifically for URG. Um, this section here, there's actually two yellow boxes. Um, we got the one for URG and the one for the yard. This is where we would enter all the information as far as uh, what we did, uh, labor hours, labor rate. Um, if there's any parts, this is totally expandable. You can put as many parts as you want down here. You just continue to click the plus button and you add them, add them in and it'll give you a, a running total on the bottom of the grand total. Now, if you want us to send this to your customer, if, if they've got an email address, we can click the send repair order button, type in their email address and send a copy of it over to them and then they know exactly what we've agreed upon and what we're gonna pay. Like I said, there's two yellow boxes. So the next box is actually for the yard use. It's very similar, actually exactly the same thing as what's above. You also have the send repair order button if you want. If you don't want to fill this section in and you agree with what URG says, you can actually click copy from URG, and it'll bring it down, it'll be a carbon copy of actually what's, what's, a, what's up above in the, in the previous one that we entered. Um, next box is turquoise box. This is where we input all your information as far as your customer being installation mileage and stuff like that. Um, has some added information, wheelbase and stuff. I mean, that sometimes is important when you have a transmission issue or transmission fitment issue of, of your wheelbase and stuff like that. So this is just basically customer information and what it's going into. Okay, this is your, this is the top half of your main screen. Um, the main screen has all the tabs on it and I'll explain the tabs to you here one at a time um, and what we've got in each one. Now your claim details, of course, that'll be 
that'll be your main screen where you've got all your boxes so you can view everything in the claim. If you go to the, the images tab, which is the next one, what you get is you'll get pictures of the actual vehicle that was in the wreck and what's going on with it. This is really handy when they call and say something's damaged, something's cracked, uh, something's going on. We can page through the pictures and take a look to see if it was hit in the rear front or whatever. Um, when we upload pictures, they'll come into this section and they'll also be in the document section. Uh, your next tab is the notes tab. And this, this notes tab, if there's communication between us and the yard, let's say I send something over to one of the guys at the yard or the girls at the yard and tell them, hey, we're going to replace this part. If they're going to send it out, if they do similar up top where they select my name from the pull down menu in the blue box, and they're going to send it out on Tuesday and say, okay, the part will be there on Tuesday. They select my name, click the box, then that would be that would be in the section two. The notes, um, the notes can't be deleted. So anytime that you put a note in here and you save it, it's saved. If it's if it's misinformation, you can actually click a box and it'll put a line through it, but it still it still displays it, and you can still see the note. So anything that happened is going to be saved in here. Um, the next one's gonna be the documents tab. And like I said before, in the documents tab, anything, any pictures that we upload, technical service bulletins, repair orders, anything will be stored in this section. It's an unlimited storage. Um, either us or the yard, anybody who's logged into the claim can actually put files in here, save them to your desktop and drag them over, drop them in here, you upload the images and it'll give you an icon. Now there's, with the icons, there's two things. If you hover over the icon, it'll give you a quick quick display of the picture. If you double click on it, it'll actually blow it up on the screen so that you can read, read the complete document. If you had a repair order from a shop and you wanted to print it because you're gonna send them a check, double click it, you can print it, save it to your files or whatever, but it'll, it'll always remain in the claim. And even after the claim's open, or I mean closed, not open, after the claim's closed, you can go back into the claim and still view the documents if you want to look back at something. The last uh, last tab we got across the top is audit tab. The audit tab kind of is a is a picture of what happened at what times and different statuses throughout the claim. Anytime there's a change, it'll be listed the person that actually made the change over here, the date and time it was, and then in the center, what you've got is you've got the uh, the status. Um, each status from the previous page, one on the first page, had a number assigned to it. So when you pull up that pull down menu, like 30 is a payment requested, um, you'll know what's going on from, uh, from inside the audit stack. Um, the next screen that we, that we come to is this is your, this is your actual dashboard. When, when you log in in the morning, you're going to see this dashboard. Now the dashboard's got a lot of options in it. Um, you've got overdue claims, claims that are assigned to you, and also open claims. Um, if you see some of the stuff down here that's highlighted in pink, in most cases, if, if, you're, if the claim's assigned to you and uh, it's overdue, it'll be displayed in the overdue claims. And the reason that they're showing up in pink on the bottom is inside the claim, if you're working the claim, you can actually set yourself a reminder. If you've got a call bill back next Tuesday at 2.30, you set a reminder for 2.30 next Tuesday, and then at 2.30 next Tuesday, it'll take it from all open claims and move it into your overdue claims so that you know that you've got to you've follow up with him at that time. Anytime that you've got a claim in your dashboard, the little blue over here, the hyperlinks, you click on that claim and it'll open up the claim to the main screen that's uh, the main screen that's uh, we, we discussed in the beginning, so that has all the, the different colored boxes. In it. We also have warranty reporting. Um, you can select date open, uh, uh, your date range, click get warranties, export, uh, export this to a CVS file, and save it as Excel. So if you wanted to know how many claims you closed, how many uh, you open a certain date range, you can pull them up and you can do it from this screen too if you're looking for a specific claim where you can, anything that has a, the arrow, you can sort by that. 
I tend to use a spreadsheet a little bit more because I pull the spreadsheet up and gather all the information and just sort sort uh, sort the spreadsheet um, and and save it in Excel. Um, the benefit, I mean, what we're trying to do is with with gathering the information, we're trying to take find find common problems, I guess you'd say. Let's say you have an interchange number or a, an engine that has a problem and they all seem to have a problem at say 210,000 miles. And just about this interchange number has a common issue at 210,000 miles. Well, once we have time in this, more time is we're gonna gather this information and put it out there. So if, if you've got one that's got 205,000 miles on it, you may or may not want to sell an upgraded warranty on it. You know, that would be a decision if they seem to all have a relative uh, a relative failure at the same time. Um, a lot of the yards actually use the use uh, spreadsheets to to uh, to manage their uh, their warranty program, but uh, with the software, you can go in and pull out anything at any time from any date range. Um, which makes it a little bit easier than sorting through spreadsheets every month. Um, also, with the, we got experience in trained technicians. Like I mentioned in the beginning, all of us are ASC certified. Um, we've got three techs working claims right now. Uh, one of them speaks Spanish. Uh, since December, we've done over 2,600 claims. Our average save rate per month on units that do not need to be replaced, that we either fix in the field, or, or find another issue with, or help the shop with some technical information to, uh, to get them by and get the, get, ultimate goal is to get the unit fixed in the vehicle and not have to replace it. Um, got one yard over a three month period of time with, uh, with the engines that didn't have to be replaced, transmissions and drive tra drive train components didn't have to be replaced. They saved, uh, they saved fifty-five thousand dollars over that period of time. Um, like we talked about save rate earlier, I mean thirty-one point three right now is our average, and that that's combined with all the yards. Um, some yards one month will have a higher save rate, some will have a lower save rate, but that's the average across the yards. Now the the cost of the program is fifteen hundred a month, plus twenty-five dollars per closed claim. Now that's not a per phone call. That's a per closed claim. So if every claim takes about three phone calls, you get your intake, you get your diagnosis and what you're gonna do from there. Some of the, because some of the claims go a little more in depth and, uh, and they take more phone calls, but it's not $25 a call, it's $25 per closed claim. So if it takes three, three calls or if it takes 15 calls to resolve the problem with the shop, that's all included in the price for the $25 per close claim. Hopefully, hopefully this was helpful. I, I hopefully I didn't go too fast or anything. If, if you guys got any questions at all, I mean, don't be afraid to ask. I mean, that's what we're here for. It's a, it's a overview of the program. Um, it's, it's much more in depth. I mean, if you've got other questions on the program or anything like that, feel free to reach out to us. I mean, we're here to answer questions on the program if you're interested in it. Um, the key to the program is if we can keep everybody in the system logged into the system, it's really easy to communicate back and forth. You log in in the morning, we send you a message in the claim, you click the link and you're brought right into it, right, uh, right where we left you the message. Um, Kristen, do you have anything that you wanna add? Yeah, so we're going to open it up for Q&A real quick. Um, if you have a question, there's a button at the bottom of your screen to, to chat. Um, and we'll leave that open here for a few minutes, and then we'll go into the drawing for our conference. And Shane, I'm not seeing any questions just yet. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the drawing for $100 off our conference registration. Um, again, our conference, our URG conference is gonna be April 16th through 18th in 
St. Louis, Missouri. So we hope to see all of you there. Um, let me draw a name out of the hat. 